Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this practice problem session, we're going to be working on continuous probabilities. So I pulled a few questions from a variety of sources that I thought were really good. What I recommend is pause the video once you see the question, try to solve it yourself, and then watch me do it. Now before we start, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as it is the best way to support me and my desire to bring high quality, easy to consume tutorials to you at no cost. Okay, let's jump in. So in this question, it says water sports rental at Flathead Lake, rents jet skis and power boats for day use. Okay. Each piece of equipment has a clock that records the time that it was actually in use while rented. The company has observed over time that the distribution of time used is normally distributed with a mean of 3.6 and a standard deviation of 1.2. Management has decided to give a rebate to customers who use the equipment for less than two hours. Based on this information, the probability that a customer gets the rebate is 0.4082. True or false? Well, let's see. For this question, you need to set up your normal distribution. So we know we've got our, our bell curve. And in the middle, you would have the mean of 3.6. They want to find the probability of less than 2. So that would be to the left of the mean. And we are looking for the area below 2. So to solve this, I'm going to solve my standardized value, my z-score. So 2 minus 3.6 over 1.2, the standard deviation. <clears throat> so you should get a z-score of negative 1.33. Now I want to find the probability of z being below 1.33 or negative 1.33. So I'll look it up in my table. So negative 1.33. I get an area of 0 0.0918. So the answer here is false, because the probability of less than two hours is actually much lower than that. It is 0 0.0918. Question number two, the vehicle speeds on a city street have been determined to be normally distributed with a mean of 33.2 miles per hour and a variance of 16. Based on this information, the probability that if three randomly selected vehicles are monitored, and that, two of, and that two of three will exceed 35 miles per hour, slightly greater than 0 0.18. Okay, so they're basically asking you, what is the probability that two out of the three will exceed 35 miles per hour? Okay, so to solve this question, let's start by finding the probability that a car Let's find the probability of a speed exceeding 35 miles per hour. So the first thing I'll do is square root the variance to get a standard deviation. So that would be 4. Draw my bell curve. Place the mean in the middle, so 33.2. We're looking for excess of 35. So I'm looking for this area here to the right. So our z-score, 33.2. Thirty-five minus thirty-three point two divided by the standard deviation of four. Is zero point forty five. That is our standardized value. Now I'm trying to find the probability of it being greater than that. So we're going to do one minus the probability of it being less, which we'll find in the table. So here we are in the table, 0 0.4 over here, 0 0.5. The area to the left is 0 0.6736. So 1 minus 0 0.6736 is 0 0.3264. So that is the probability of one driver exceeding 35 miles per hour. The question says, the probability that out of three of them, two will exceed 35 miles per hour. So for this, we can use a binomial equation. I want to know the probability that exactly two out of three drivers exceed 35 miles per hour. So for this, I'll do three combination two multiplied by the probability of exceeding the speed limit, so what we just calculated is 0.3264 to the power of 2, 
times 1 minus 0 0.3264. So the answer you should get is 0 0.2153. So since they said it was slightly greater than 0.18, I would say that that is false. Question number three, a major cell phone service provider has determined that the number of minutes that a its customers use their phone per month is normally distributed with a mean equal to 445.5 minutes and a standard deviation of 177.8. The company is thinking of charging a lower rate to customers who use the phone less than a specific amount of time. If it wishes to give a rate reduction to no more than 12% of customers, what should the cutoff be? So here what we're looking for is the 12th percentile. What number of minutes do only 12% of customers fall below? So that would be on the left-hand side of the mean, basically saying that this area represents 12% of all customers. What is the value of X that separates that 12% from the rest? Now, the first step here is to find the standardized value, the Z score that corresponds to having an area of 12% to its left. So we're going to go to our table, to the negative side, because I'm on the left-hand side of my bell curve, and I'm looking on the inside for 0 0.12, as close as I can get. So as close as I can get would be right in between these two. It's perfectly in the middle of 0 0.121 and 0 0.119. So I'll use both. I'll zoom out a bit. This corresponds to a z-score of negative 1.17 and negative 1.18. So let's go back. That would be negative 1.17 plus negative 1.18 divided by 2. I'll take the average, negative 1.175. Next, we're going to plug that as our z value, and we're going to solve for the x. So we know the mean is 445.5. We know the standard deviation is 177.8. So now we can algebraically solve for the missing value. So you should get approximately 237. So the answer would be A. Question number four. The fares received by taxi drivers working for the city taxi line are normally distributed with a mean of 12.5 and a standard deviation of 3.25. Suppose the driver has four consecutive fares that are less than $6. What is the probability of this happening? Okay, so for this, we're going to first find the probability of a fare being less than 6. So my bell curve is here. We know the mean is 12.5, 6 would be to the left, and we're looking for less than 6. So the z-score would be 6 minus 12.5 over the standard deviation of 3.25. So negative 2 is our z-score. Now if I want to find the probability of z being less than negative 2, I'm going to look that up in the table, and I'll find 0 0.02. So that is the probability of a fare being for less than $6. Now the question is, suppose the driver has four consecutive fares of less than six. So all you need to do is take this number and put it to the power of four. So the probability is 0 0.00000027, so essentially zero. Question number five. A class takes an exam where the average time to complete the exam is normally distributed with a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 9. If the class lasts one hour, what percent of students will have turned in the exam after 60 minutes? So essentially, we're asking you, what is the probability of finishing the exam within 60 minutes? So let's bring up our bell curve. For this, you want to place the mean in the middle. As always, we're looking for the probability of less than 60. So everything to the left of 60. Calculator z-score, x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So you should get a value of 2.22. And now we're going to go look that up in the table to find the area that is to the left of that. So that's it for this video, everyone. I hope that you found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And I'll see you at the next video.